All right. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, so welcome to Mike Ravis uh, Player Focus Week. So thanks so much for coming in. Um, firstly, how has pre-season been? How's it been coming back? Yeah, pre-season's been really good. Um, obviously came back on the 7th uh, last Monday um, and we've been put through our paces pretty hard for the last week, week and a half so far, but it's been good. Um, and yeah, just looking forward to keeping on going really. Do you find it quite hard coming back from a bit of a break straight into like quite hardcore training? Um, in the past, I think I have, but this year, um, the SNC coaches were really good in like kind of bridging the gap. Um, so they had us in for a few few sessions before we really got going as a group. Um, so just bridging that gap and made it a lot easier. Oh, nice. Um, so obviously leading up to 2023, what is sort of like your aspirations for, for the coming season? Obviously it's going to be a bit different, um, but what, what are you most looking forward to? Um, I think as sim similar to my goals in the past few years, just playing as much regular first team cricket as I can. Um, and then once I get those opportunities, really taking taking the most of them and trying to cement a spot because obviously we've made some good signings and it's, there's going to be a lot of competition for places next year. So whatever I can do to try and help Yorkshire win some cricket games, um, that's the aim. Great. Well, I think we're all we're all looking forward to it. Um, obviously, you sort of broke into the side quite young. I mean, your debut was something quite quite different. Do you want to maybe tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So I made my debut at seventeen um, against Kent at Headingley. Um, it, it, I didn't I didn't really have too long to think about it because I, I, I got a hundred and second team the week before, um, and Will Frayne sadly went down injured in the on that week down in Taunton. Um, so I didn't really have too long to think about it or how it'd go. So I was kind of put straight in, which I was pretty happy about, obviously. Uh, that's like a dream come true, especially at home. Um, and the, the game itself didn't go too well. Um, I think quite a few people will, will remember it for Darren Stevens and how, how he scored a lot of runs that day. Um, but no, I think that's kind of what made it more special to me is that it's been remembered by not only myself, but a lot of other people as well. Nice. Um, so obviously you've taken quite, uh, you've taken part in quite a few um, games since then. So out of all of the wickets that you've taken, who would you say is your favourite, the one you enjoyed the most? Um, I'd probably say Will Young at North Ansoy last year. Um, it was the first game of first first team game that I played last year. Um, trying to, like I said, trying to make an impact and trying to cement a spot. And the the, the, the wicket that stood out to me last, the most was Will Young. So obviously you've got a bit of an interesting nickname, um, yeah. which is Tonka. Do you want to maybe tell us a bit about where that came from? Yeah, so me and me and Brookie play. Well, we we came from that same cricket club, Billy and Wofdale, and we still we get we go down and watch a fair few times now. And there's this bloke that that, that is called Tonka, um, who everyone's called who everyone calls Tonka, and Brookie seems to think that I look like him. So um, me me and Brookie tried to call started calling each other Tonka and. Everyone else seems to catch on and start calling me it. So um, that's kind of where it comes from. There's nothing really too much behind it, but that is where it comes from. Yeah. Okay. Well, it definitely definitely stands out. And um, we've actually spoken to Harry, okay. and he's put a bit of a quiz together for us. So we know that you're very good friends. So yeah. I think we'll we'll start. Okay. So the first question is: When is Harry's birthday? Is it A? The 22nd of February, B, the 20th of February, or C, the 2nd of March? I will go with the 22nd of February, A. Correct. Started off with Good start. Good correct start. answer. Okay, so the next question is a bit of a badger question, I think, but what is Harry's current strike rate in first class cricket? Is it A, 70.1, B, 64.7, or C, 72.4? Um, going off last season when he was striking at hundreds, I'd probably go with the last one. So I'll go seventy-two point four. Uh, I'm sure he would love that, but unfortunately, it is B, which is sixty-four point seven. But enough. still had a pretty good, good season. <laughs> okay, so question number three is: What is Harry's middle name? Is it A. Barrington, B. James, or C. Charrington? Charrington. Nice, nice, <laughs> correct. Um, so, what is Harry's favourite food? Is it A, a roast dinner, B, cheese on toast, or C, Japanese food? There's plenty more. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably go with Japanese food. 
Correct. I feel like you two are a bit of a dream team. Yeah. Um, so keeping on the topic of food, what spice does Harry have at Nando's? Is it A, medium, B, Perry Tamer, or C, lemon and herb? Um, I'll go with Perry Tamer. Correct. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah yes. it is. <laughs> okay, so the last one is what is Harry's favourite band? Is it A, the Spice Girls, B, Arctic Monkeys, or C, Oasis? Hmm. I've never actually heard him listen to much music, but I'll go with the, the Arctic Monkeys. Incorrect. It's the Spice Girls. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know him loves down. a bit of the, loves a bit of the Spice, Spice Girls. Girls yep. Didn't know him down. What those? Get him, get him on the Orcs. Um, so that completes our Harry Brook quiz. Um, so obviously we've had a little bit of a look at your your top trump card. Yeah. Um, favorite film in between his movie. Great film. Prefer the first to the second. I'm not actually sure which one's which, but the one where they're in Malia, is it? Yes. Yeah, that's the one. first one. Yeah, it's that's a top, a top yeah. choice. That's good. That's a good, good film. And your favourite band? Yeah, Pulp. I only, I only know two of their songs, so cast that as your favourite band or not, I'm not sure, but the two songs that I know are unreal. What other songs do you know? Uh, Common People and Disco 2000. Okay, so talking of music, who's the worst when it comes to having the alt scored? Who do you definitely not want, want on tunes in the Duke. gym? Harry Duke. Shocking. Uh, as soon as he puts puts the alt chord in, everyone is looking around saying who's put this on, who's put this on. You don't, you don't want to go near it. So we obviously asked you what your dream job would be if you weren't a cricketer. Yeah. And you went with detective. Do you want to maybe give us a bit of an insight into that? Yeah, there's a little bit of thought around this because I had a little bit of, a bit of a think about it, but um, a couple of lads in the squad probably don't think I'm the brightest, brightest person in the squad, but I do like my, my detective series and I just think one day that that'd be that'd be something pretty cool to do. CSI Tonka. I love it. That'd be a good name. 